16th chapter of the book of Acts. Chapter 16 of the book of Acts. And I'll be reading verses 22 to 26. And then together we'll read the 18th chapter of the book of Acts. One verse, and that will be verse number 5. That will be the verse that you will join in with me. chapter 16 verses 22 to 26 and Acts the 18th chapter verse 5 verse 5 will be the verse that we will all read together when you're there say amen verses 22 to 26 of the 16th chapter of Acts reads and the multitude rose up together against them and the magistrates ripped off their clothes commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who have received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison, and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed, and sang praises to God, and the prisoners heard them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's band were loosed. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. All the doors were opened and everyone's band were loosed. Hallelujah. Man, God is about to open all your doors. <laughs> Y'all not hearing what I'm saying to you. God is about to open all your doors. Lord have mercy. Let's go to the 18th chapter, verse 5, and that be the verse that I would have you read with me when you're there. Say amen. Amen. Let's read verse 5. And when Silas and Timothy were come from Macedonia, Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was Christ. That Jesus walked is Christ. So I want to speak with you today and share with you the subject, don't compromise your destiny. Don't compromise your destiny because your destiny is your future. Amen. Please tell somebody that before you take your seat. Tell them don't compromise your destiny. You can have your seat once you have told somebody that. Ah, don't you dare compromise your destiny, which is your future. The, the, the thing I believe, and I just really want to take my time but not hold you long at the same time. I believe that it is very important that you feed your destiny in order to not compromise it you've got to feed it because when you feed it you get return and when you have return there's no need to compromise in other words it's like being in a good home and a good family why would you compromise that for something else? So you've got to learn how to feed your future. And one writer was talking uh, in the bottom of one letter, and he said, whatever you feed gets stronger. He says, if you keep feeding your past, you will not have enough strength or energy to feed your future. So what you feed, becomes your future. 
becomes your destiny. And so you cannot waste time on past stuff because the things that are in front of you are greater than your past. And the reason why I know they're greater than your past because your past is where you've been. Your future is where you're going. And you can never go somewhere unless you come from somewhere. So you've got to walk out of something and walk into something greater than what you just came out of. And when you do that, you have an opportunity to look back on your past. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with looking back because sometimes looking back reminds you of where God brought you from. Yeah, yeah. It's good to look back and, and, and look of where God brought me from and what God did in my life and to say things like, wow, God, if it had not been for you on my side, I wouldn't be here in the future of my life because I'd be still dealing with some crazy stuff that's in my past. And when you are at that level, God help me, when you're at a level of not compromising, that means you have the old pioneer saying that my, my mind is made up. And, and, and my heart is fixed that, that come hell or high water I'm staying with Jesus so it doesn't matter what come it doesn't matter what go I've already made up in my mind that I'm going all the way with God no matter what happens that's the mentality that a true believer has because it does not allow them to want to compromise because they're good where they are and when you're good where you are, you are seeing consistent growth. You're seeing progress. You're, you're seeing commitment and you're seeing God doing different things in your life. And that's making you want to stay more committed to God. The more committed you are, the more consistent you will become. You got to hear that. When you become committed to something, you become consistent to the very thing that you're committed to. And the only reason why you are committed and consistent is because it's working out for your good. It is allowing you to see the difference that God makes in your life. And when you start seeing the difference that God makes in your life, you become more committed to God. And your commitment requires you to be more consistent with God. Because now you want more of God. Now you want to get deeper with God. Now, now you've decided, God, I, I want a closer walk with thee because the commitment that I have with you, it has caused me to become so consistent that every time I turn around, you just keep on blessing me. And the more you bless me, the more I want to be blessed. And the more I want to be blessed, I've discovered the more I need to be blessed. And then I found out you supply all of my needs according to thine riches and glory by Christ Jesus and the more you supply my needs the more I want to tell somebody that if it had not been for God uh, on my side I don't know where I would be and the more I testify about God uh, the happier I get and the happier I get the more I want to go to church uh, and the more I want to go to church uh, the more I want to praise him uh, and the more I want to praise him the more I want to give him glory Somebody shout and give him glory. Somebody shout and give him glory. Let the devil know I'm here. And I'm here with a praise in my mouth. God, uh, touch three people and tell them have not been for the Lord on my side. I don't know where I'll be. Be real with them. Tell them, tell them you better recognize that if God wasn't with me, I might have lost my mind last month. I might have lost my mind last year. I might have lost my job. But because the Lord is on my side. I'm coming, y'all. Y'all sit down, please. Now, briefly, let's, let's talk about destiny. Destiny is something like Romans 8, 29 and 31. Let me, let me read. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate 
to be conformed in the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Did you hear the passage that I read? That sounds like y'all ain't hear what I'm saying to you. That sounds like a promise. That sounds like destiny. That sounds like my future for whom he foreknow. In other words, what the writer says, Paul says, if he foreknew you, he has something for you. You miss it. If he foreknew you, he has something for you before you got where you are. And what God had for you, because he foreknew you, he knew you were going to go through what you had to go through. But he's before you. God, you need to shout. He foreknew what you were going to go through. But he was for you. Because he foreknew your problems. He foreknew your situation. He foreknew your obstacles. But he was always before you. So I knew what you were going through. That's why I was before you. Okay. He also did predestinate. To be conformed to the image of his son. So not only did he foreknew you, but he predestined. God, there's the word destiny. He predestined your destiny. He predetermined what you were going to become. <laughs> but he knew there was a process. That's why he said, I foreknew you. And I knew you were going to go through it. But I also knew you can handle it. That's why I predestined you to get to your destiny. Uh, somebody jump to your feet and tell your neighbor you can handle it. Tell them you can handle it because God knew about it before you got in it. And God was already making a way for you to get out. The Bible said with the same temptation, he'll make a way for you to escape. Tell somebody I'm on my escape route now. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying to you. I'm, I'm, I'm on my escape route. I'm, I'm at the place of escaping stuff that's stupid and stuff that don't look like God. I'm on my way escaping ridiculous things and things that are not level and things that are not blessings. I'm on my escape route, Brother Phil. I'm on, I'm getting out of it. I'm walking out of it. I, it's ridiculous I'm getting out because I've been predestined. I've been predetermined to be godly. I've got to walk out of some stuff. God said, I'm giving you a new route. I'm showing you a new way out. I'm tired of messing with crazy people that ain't going nowhere. I've got a new route now. It's part of my destiny. So you so you may have to walk past people that ain't doing you no good and ain't no good for you. You may have to walk past I got a new route. I'm sorry. I'm, I ain't coming over there no more. I got a, I got a new route. I'm I'm destined for something great and it's not over there, but it's over here and I've got to uh, tell somebody my new route is a part of my destiny and that's why I can't go where I used to go anymore and I can't do what I used to do anymore it's not a part of my destiny uh, Y'all sit down. He also did predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. Uh huh. I predestined, but I foreknew what I predestined. In other words, God said, I knew what I was doing with you. <laughs> they didn't understand what I was doing with you. I knew what I was doing with you. Because I formed you, I predestined you, and now I'm conforming you. God, help me preach this thing. Tell somebody you are going through a, a, a metamorphosis. You're being conformed. You're 
That's why you can't. God help me here. Tell somebody I'm experiencing a metamorphosis. I'm being conformed. I'm being transformed. That's why I don't look the same way I used to look. Talk to me, Renee. I don't look the same way I used to be. Shrika has died. And Sister Renee has come alive. I wish I can preach in this place. God help me. Because he's conforming you. And when he conforms you, he conforms everything about you. Your increase is about to be conformed. Your health is about to be conformed. You're not hearing what I'm saying. God is about to transform your health. He's about to conform and give you some new blood. He's about to wash your old blood away. And God's about to rush in some new blood. God, touch somebody and when you touch them, spin and say, I'm being conformed. I'm being transformed. I'm like the transformer. You're going to see me in different ways. But every time you see me, you're going to see the anointing. Every time you see me, you're going to see God's hand. Every time you see me, you're going to see God's favor. Every time you see me, you're going to see God's blessings. Every time you see me, you're going to see God's miracle. Because I am a miracle. God. I'm almost done. Let me get through the verses, y'all. Now, he says, after I foreknew you, I conformed you. I predestined, I conformed you. That you might be the firstborn among many brothers. Tell somebody I am the best of the best. No matter what you think about me, I am the cream of the crop. I will amaze you this season. I will blow your mind this season because you're going to look at my shout and it's going to be conformed. You're going to look at my praise and it's going to be transformed. You're going to look at the way I serve God and it's going to be a transformation. I'm about to blow your mind. You're going to watch the way I come to church and it's going to be a transformation. You're going to watch my giving. My giving is about to be conformed. God, I wish I could preach here. You're going to watch the way I dress. It's going to be a transformation I'm about to walk in my kingdom place. I'm about to walk in my destiny. Before I get there, I can see God doing something. Tell somebody before God does it, you got to see him doing it. And if you can see him doing it, if you can see him do it, you have the right to put a praise on it. You can't miss that. If you can see him doing it, you have a right to put a praise on it. In other words, God, I see you bringing me out. And when you see God bring you out, put a praise. Put a praise. I dare you jump to your feet and put a praise on it. In other words, I believe God's going to do it. God, God, God. I put the praise on my miracle. I put the praise on my healing. I put the praise on my deliverance. You better tell the devil, I'm going to put a praise on it. dignified for, for the one visitor but I I feel like I need to put a praise on what he's doing better yet what he's already done is there anybody here got a 20 second praise of what God's already done you get back bold enough and take a neighbor say girl you better put a praise on it tell that brother you better put a praise on it you know that God brought you out you know that God delivered you it's a part of your destiny you better put a praise on it Tell 
somebody in your transformation in your conforming I'm about to give you a new dance y'all ain't gonna talk here I wish I had somebody just step on it just step on it God said I'm gonna give you a new dance Lord have mercy hold on hold on hold on I'm going to mess somebody up here. God just showed me something, Mother Dolores. God says, your old dance was for the things of the past. Your new dance are for things of the future. So God said, dance like you're already in your destiny. Let's go a little bit deeper. Let's go a little bit deeper. See, that's that new dance. Lord have mercy. I said somebody about to catch a new dance in here. Ah, you better tell your neighbor. This is my new dance for my new stuff that's coming in my new season. You better dance like you're coming out of it. You better dance like you know God did it for you. Put a new dance on the yeah, air. Tell the devil, I got a new dance. And my dance represents my victory. My dance represents my destiny. I cannot be stopped. I will not be Dance out of that thing, girl. 
It's been trying to hold you back. It's been trying to mess with your mind. But devil, you a liar. I'm going to dance my way out of this storm. a destiny sound like somebody coming out of something going into something greater and better you better watch yourself I said you better watch yourself you gonna dance yourself into a Holy Ghost frenzy The glory, the glory is already here. gonna fall in this place like crazy. You can't keep giving him glory and something don't happen. You can't keep praising like that and something don't happen. I said something's about to happen. Something's about to happen. Don't go deeper. Lord have mercy. I, I, see, that's a destiny. That's a destiny praise right there. That's I'm coming out of my storm praise. My, 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 my. Won't he do it? I said, won't he do it? You ought to tell your neighbor he'll do it again. understand what's happening. My, 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 my. See, see, see. Here's what you got to understand. Here's what you got to understand. This is the season you will have to dance yourself out of some stuff. You ain't got to open your mouth, just dance through it. You ain't got to open your just, just dance through it. Dance out of it. Shout out of it. Uh, God, I feel it. I feel it. It's about to happen. Somebody's about to get a hold of something here. I said, somebody is about to get a hold of something in here. My God, my God.
somebody shout hallelujah in this place. I said somebody shout hallelujah in this place. Tell your neighbor if you didn't dance, I'll dance for you. Tell your neighbor if you didn't dance, I'll dance for you. I'm going to dance that you get out of that thing. I'm going to shout for you. I dare you look at somebody and tell them, I'm going to shout for you to come out. My God, my next praise is for you. If you don't praise and watch me Because you don't know what I've been through You don't know what I came out of You don't know the night I had to cry But watch me praise him I'm going to praise him for my victory I'm going to praise him for my destiny I'm going to praise him for what he's done I'm going to praise him for what he's doing I'm going to praise him for what he's getting ready to do God is not due with you yet I said God is not through with you yet Listen, God said, if you can praise me through this one, I don't even know what this one is, but if you can praise me through this one, the next one, Lord have mercy, tell somebody, tell somebody this here, if you can praise God through this one, your next one is going to be greater. You ever said, God, if I can get if I can get through this one, Lord, if you get me through this one right here, can I get a witness in here? Lord, if you get me out of this, if you get me through this one, tell somebody God is getting ready to get you out of this one. Tell somebody God is getting ready to get you out of this one because it's a part of your destiny. You are about to experience God like you've never done before in your life. Tell somebody God is about to get you out of this one. to tell somebody else God is about to get you out of this world God is about to get you out of it come on tell them God is about to get you out of this one your destiny is in front of you you have got to get there don't you compromise your anointing don't you compromise don't you compromise your apostleship don't you compromise A part of your destiny is bringing somebody with you. A part of your destiny is bringing somebody with you. God said, just grab one person's hand and just pull them and say, we are going to come out of this together. Pull them, pull them, pull them. Say, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's time to get our destiny. It's time to press our way. It's time to move forward. We're not going to stay here any longer. God is going to get you out of this one. Your destiny is great. Pull them, pull them, pull them, pull them, pour her out. Take her with you. Say, let's go, 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 let's go. Your destiny. 
destiny is here. Your destiny is here. Your destiny is here. Your destiny is here. Get the baby. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. God said, take you because you're coming out. You are coming out. I don't care what the devil been trying to tell you. God told me get your hand and tell you, daughter, you are coming out. Your destiny is great. Your past is getting ready to leave you. You're getting ready to jump into a future that you have not experienced. You are getting ready to go someplace you've never been. God said, take you by the hand. I'll wipe your tears. I'll take care of your family. I'll be your father. I'll be your husband. I'll be whatever you need me to be. I will jump into your financial situation. I'm going to turn that thing around. Your destiny is here. Your destiny is here. I'm pulling you out. I'm pulling you out. I'm pulling you out. I'm snatching you out of the hands of the enemy. You go grab the field by one hand, you grab by the other and pull him out. I'm pulling you out. I'm pulling you out. I'm pulling you out. If I got to wrestle with you all night, I'm not going to let go until you bless me. I'm pulling you out. Your destiny is important. You can no longer live in your past. Your past is over. Somebody shout, your past is over. Tell your neighbor, your past is over. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. Your destiny is here. Tell somebody your destiny is here. Jordan, your destiny is here. Brother Jeff, your destiny is here. Pull them out. Pull, pull Jordan, Jesse. Pull her and tell her you're coming out, girl. Pull him, pull her, pull her. Pull her and tell her you're coming out, girl. I don't care what the devil said, you're coming out. Bring that deacon up to me. That he's so he's able to predestined to be a deacon. And the devil's been trying to fight. But brother Phil, Deacon Phil, I pull you out by the power of the living God. I pull you out. I pull you into your destiny. I pull you into your future. I pull your family out. I pull your family out. and it cannot be compromised another day, another minute, another second, another hour. Your destiny is here. I'm almost done. Come here, Hannah. Come here, Sister Beth. This, she represents Shira. She represents your daughter. I need you to spiritually pull your daughter out. Pull Shira out. I don't care where she's at right now. Pull her out of that mess. Pull her out of that depression. Pull her out of stress. Pull Shira out. Shira, you're coming out. We're praying for you right now, Shira. You are coming out. You are coming out. 
the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, my daughter is coming out. Come on, Shira. Come on, Shira. Come on, Shira. Mama loves you, Shira. Come on, Shira. Come on, Shira. Come out. Come out, Shira. Come out, Shira. No more depression. No more loneliness. DJ is gone, but I need you to come out. I need you to come out. I need you to be blessed. Come on, Shira. When you come out, I'm coming out. When you get out, I'm getting out. coming out of that thing. I said Shira's coming out. My God, my God. My God, by the blood of Jesus. I said by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. It reaches the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. Somebody tell your neighbor the blood still works. Tell them the blood still works. And the blood is covering you right now. Your destiny is here. God said mothers and fathers... Your daughters and your sons are here. Pull them out. Your sons and your daughters are here. Pull them out. Go pull your son out. Go pull your daughter out. Pull them out of the grips of the enemy's hand. Because their destiny is great. And God is going to perform what he said he's going to perform. I said go pull your daughter. Pull your son out because that's your baby. That's right. Pull her. Let her know who God said she is. Pull your son out. Pull your daughter out. You are coming out of the hands of the enemy. Because God predestined you to be great. God conformed you. God is transforming you. Pull him out. Pull him out. You've got greatness on you. You've got power on you. You've got authority on you. And I pull you out of the hands of the enemy. And I pour you into the kingdom of God. I pour you into the kingdom of God. Your destiny is here. on you your future is bright the Bible says that the reason why Paul was in one place was because he had to go see Caesar he had to stand before Caesar God help me in the name of Jesus but to go stand before Caesar For the accusations that were put against him when he went to prison. But you read the same scripture. When they got in prison. Paul and Silas prayed and they sang. And the Bible said there came a great earthquake. And the very foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately everybody's band were loosed. 
and the door is open. I came to tell somebody in your destiny, all of your doors are about to open. I dare you to just start opening doors around you. Every door that you've been praying about is about to open. Every door that's been closed in your face, God said, I'm opening the door. The doors of opportunity, the doors of victory, the doors of a miracle, the doors of your healing, the doors of your breakthrough. You will no longer compromise the doors of your financial wealth, the doors of your spiritual health. I'm telling you, doors are opening all around you. Somebody shout, all oh, my doors are opening. All my doors are opening. All my doors opening. All my doors opening. All around me, doors opening. Doors of opportunity are coming for you. Breakthrough doors opening. Ways are getting ready to be made out of no way. Your destiny is here. You don't have to look any further. Your destiny is here. And you cannot compromise your destiny for nobody. For anything. Don't you compromise your anointing. Don't you compromise what God has spoken to you, what God has imparted to your life. Don't you dare compromise it. There's not enough in the world to make me compromise my destiny. Anybody here come too far to turn around? And you know God didn't bring you this far to leave you? Then you ought to give him a shout of praise in this place. For every victory, there's a sound. There's a move. For every victory in your life, there's a sound. That sounds like a sound that I'm tired, I'm coming out. That sounds like a sound of somebody that wants to walk in victory. Somebody said, I'm not compromising no more. It's over. It's over. It's over now. the 
sanctuary, rest to your feet. All over the sanctuary, rest to your feet. I need you to applaud God for his power. For his authority. And for the mighty move of God. Mm, I said the mighty move of God in this place. The mighty move of the mighty God. Paul said I was sent to the kingdom. To tell the Jews that Jesus is the Christ. Your destiny, it's here. Now you've got to walk in it. It's here. It's here. It is in front of you. It is in front of you. What's behind you literally pushed you into your destiny. Because sometimes pain will push you to your purpose. Anybody here today? It is not to be compromised. It is that God gets the glory out of your life. There are places God wants to take you. There are things God wants to do in your life. There are things God wants to reveal to you. It's a part of your destiny. He's going to show you his hand. what God has for you. It is for you. You hear what I'm saying? What God has for you? Oh, it is for you. It is for you. And he's going to do great and mighty things. Touch somebody on the shoulder. Every shoulder should have a touch. God, thank you for the move of your Holy Spirit, the move of your power and your authority, your grace, your mercy, and your love and kindness toward us. Thank you that our bands were loosed and all our doors are now open. Thank you that things are happening immediately, suddenly. There's a sound from heaven that earth is recipients of. Thank you for your glory that filled this house today. Your anointing that causes every yoke to be destroyed and every burden to be lifted. God, thank you for your presence in this place today. Thank you for everything that you've done. What you're doing is truly amazing. It is beyond us. It is past us. It is over us. But yet it is working through us. For our good. Our destiny is in front of us, God. We will not compromise it. We will not backslide. We will not back up. We will not give up. We will not throw in the towel. Because greater is coming. And we're excited about Lay your hands now afresh on every last one of us. Meet us at our knees and then supply them according to thine riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Move God upon the altars of our hearts that even when we leave this place we'll still be in fellowship with you. We'll still be humbled at your feet, bowed in your presence. Then any time you want to use us, we'll be available. Any place you want to use us will be available. God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for pulling us out of the last storm. <laughs> thank you, Jesus, for snatching us out of the last thing that we had to go through. But this too shall pass. Because we're feeding our destiny. We will no longer starve it. We'll feed it. And what we feed, we become strong in. 
become powerful. So Father, across this awaiting congregation as your hand is touching us where we need touching, do great things. Do more than expect it. That abundantly and above all we can think or ask according to the power that worketh within us. And God will give you thanks. We'll tell the world about you. We'll go on Mars Hill and tell them like Paul did. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For the kingdom of God is at hand. And let all the people say amen. Amen. Clap your hand as loud as you can in the presence of the living God that we serve. Come on, clap your hand. Clap your hand. Rejoice, all ye people. As you remain standing.